look at, as you say, Flamey yesterday, but also Electronic. Both of those players we've been looking for answers from, especially since they brought in Electronic. We're waiting for the sort of revitalization of Navi, him bringing some more potential to, to go along with Simple. I think he's also had a better tournament throughout as we've improved into these playoffs. So both of those factors, it's finally the Navi we've come to expect, but can they match up against FaZe? That's the bigger question. We're going to start that question right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your first semi-final, FaZe Clan versus Nadek Finsir, make some noise! <laughs> Navi on the T side, five sets of armor and Ray kicks it off in style. Headshot towards Electronic right at the T steps, they're gonna have to rush B, get stuck in and see if they can find Carrigan at the very back. It's an immediate exchange in B. Nico's won that easily. Kerrigan's down and leaves Nico alone. He's already gotten two. He's still boosted up and from that angle he'll take down Edward. A great start and a clean start for FaZe. Yeah, that's wonderful stuff. And Rain especially sets the tone for the round. Facing towards T, Sepsi with that silenced USP. Blows off the head of one, funnels him up towards B. They have no choice at that point. They've lost everything at the very start. They go in, it looks very lackluster, very forced, and they have no chance. Completely wrecked there. FaZe kick it off in style. Na'Vi will be forced by in the second round, of course. They'll be bringing out CZ's Desert Eagle's armor. And in terms of grenades, they only have one smoke and two flashbangs, Matt. That is not ideal. I do not see how they find any sort of entrance here. And you can see Rain. And he's hungry for more. Looking down towards the T-steps there. A couple of M4s brought to the table here. That'll be in the hands of Nico and Rain. Quite the formidable duo as Na'Vi head towards the B bomb site. There will be two players waiting for them, of course. Nico and Carrigan. A strong duo. Sometimes a bit questionable when Nico brings out the WAWP. That's when it seems to get weaker on that side of the map. But it will be a smoke towards CD spawn or flash over. The bomb's still down at T-spawn though, so I can't imagine they'll commit. There we go. Flamey will go and recover it. And they should be finishing up. You can see they've got no control towards apartments or second middle right now. So they have to finish towards Banana. They're not really sure as to what they've lost on the other side of the map. But Navi are a very slow-paced team. Always have been. Commonality in most CS teams. I think Vega threw that out the window somewhat. So Edward throws smoke towards the off side. Trying to hold a rotation off on this side of the map perhaps as they get ready, but remember, that's pretty much all the utility you have. This is a perfect boost to counter this sort of play. One flashback over is not going to affect Nico at all. He's got the superior firepower. They wait for the smoke to go down, and that's the cue to get in. It's the same setup as last time with the boost. Already oh, knows that smoke is soon, just already knowing that no one is on Nico. the other side of it, already starting to rotate. Nico falls off, but it's Kerrigan to get the kill instead. Kerrigan will swing back, and that brings Nico in, but he's gone so low, taking so much damage early on that losing both of them, including the M4 in the site, could be problematic. Simple with the Deagle to get Guardian, and the M4 is down. He's grabbed the MP7 to start, not the gun he was looking for as he backed but unfortunately, the bomb goes down with him. Nico not getting as much as I thought that. Perfect position, couldn't find the shots. I don't find myself saying that very often. He whiffs it at top of the new boxes there. You get on that position to avoid flames. Sometimes you can be touched by those, but mainly flashbangs. You cannot be affected. You can see him struggling with that first kill. Carrigan luckily finds a couple with the MP7. Simple though, two versus one, Matt. That can always fall apart, especially when you've got a deagle in his hand. 2-0 though, and we're force buying again. Nafi are all in. This is unprecedented. What is this? They didn't get a plan. Why have they, they got a couple of kills, sure. But yeah, and this doesn't that, make any sense. The only justification is obviously they're confident with those kills and they know that the economy is going to have to continue to be pressed on the CT side, but really all they're doing is hurting themselves in the long run because they're not going to win this round, certainly not now. I can't really break that one down for you, it makes no sense. That's such a Hail Mary play. You've just given FaZe a 5 0 start essentially. And that's nuts. Like, you now have nothing to go into what should be a gun round here. FaZe are just going to grow. That's the economy swelling right now. That's some bold call from Zeus, and one that I don't like at all. If he got maybe four kills there, and it was left hands on 1v1, they got the bomb planted, then I'd be saying, yeah, sure, let's give that they, a go. But they that would did almost, not justify it. Yeah, they would have almost been in a position to buy in this round. Rope one together there. Narrowing their money down to about the 2k mark, that's fine, because they're about to get a fourth round bonus. So 29 on top of that. Or excuse me, T-side. Wants to work with Guardian. Already spots down. Uh, middle, only one to find in that position. It's Edward that's still waiting. Simple and then Electronic will post up on T-Stairs. Playing range game with the Eagle on Simple, but Guardian does go back and find Flamey on a second peak. They've got the aggression and confidence to go for the peak of the top middle late in the round because rifles at range, they know there's pistols up. Things should cleanly make this 4-0. Even then, 
I guess the max bonus, or loss bonus is maximized at that point. Even then, if they get five, they'll be able to buy back in. But a 4 nothing start that could have been narrowed down slightly, maybe by one round with some more conservation. Well, here we go. The first gun round will arrive. 4-0 to phase. They've got a bonus round going into round number five. Guardian does upgrade, though. He goes to the AWP. Karagan will stick on the MP7. They know AKs are coming out right now, so we'll have to see what they can do as we proceed with a late start from Navi here. So AKs, no AWP in the hands of Simple. That's obviously going to be a fact he couldn't afford on in that round. Guardian will have full control of the map. If he sees Fiddy, he's a very aggressive Inferno player, especially on the T side. One of the few Warpers that can make that work. Watch out for his plays as we swap over. And we'll be him looking towards second middle for now. A slow default from Narvi. Aiming for Banana at the very start. You can see the bomb position itself in that position. It will be Guardian firing a speculative shot there towards the bottom of the middle. Doesn't connect. And the default continues. Aiming for apartments once they get Banana. But Electronic is burning here. And down he goes. Nico just watches him go down. He has a nade in his hand. Easy frag. Yeah, it's almost so tough. I mean, you want to commit to that shot. Two available to him, but couldn't land it. In fact, didn't even hit either of the two players that were exposed in front of him. Flamey's at least gone in toward the boiler position. Simple's going to head back over to Horn mid to try and aid in the potential A take. Arch side open. It's all fine in a 3-2 split on defense. Make that less so. A problem if Guardian takes down Edward. It'll force Flemmy back in that direction. With the smoke down, he's not sure of exactly what's on the other side. So they don't have anything to work with at all for Navi. They've got mid-wall. Yeah. That is it. And there's 36 seconds left. They, they have not arrived in this semi-final as of yet. This is looking quite horrible for Navi. The forced by decisions, the early blunders with the grenades there. Zeus surely goes down here. That's Carrigan farming $600. Five on two. Flamey and Simple. The strongest flag is on the team. But it's going to take an absolute miracle to recover out of this situation. 15 seconds remain. They're segregated right now. The bomb walks in towards the B bomb side. Like, Simple's good, but he's got 10 seconds to find two kills here and get the bomb blasted. And to be fair, not only has he now found 600, excuse me, $1,200, but he's also got an AK, so he's found a lot more than that in the long run. That money must be out of control. It's, it's got to be huge. 11k yeah. on Nico, 10k on Olofmeister, Carrigan, 8,500. They're, they're, they're fully bought up. They didn't have to reinvest in the They've got three AK-47s on a CD side. Do you know what that does? The aggression now that these star players are faced who are fired up on 5-0, running with money, confidence, kills on the board. They can hold more aggressive angles, go for the one-taps, and not have to rely on M4A4s. Another eco for Narvi. Julies are coming out for some reason. Edwards purchased those. This is not looking good. Not a bad start, Nico. 211 ADR. Sits at 9 and 1. Just around, got 4 alone, so certainly benefits. Guardian naturally to have the AWP as well. Going for armor with the pistols, at least on Navi's side, if you want to call it something to work with, but it's yeah, hardly it's, that. It's a partial buy maximum loss bonus. They'll get 3,400 on top, so it's fine to do a partial buy here. The Julie's not a fan of They cost the same as the CZ. Might as well bring that out. Deagle, 700. A little bit more. And they'll go towards second middle for now. Edwards trying to make something happen here. Is this a new thing? Ah, uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Different tribe than was in uh, Oakland, apparently. Kerrigan tries to stop back out with the AK-47. The smoke's going to land in front of him. That'll force him back off the angle. Bait for rain if Olaf can pull him toward his direction. toward Pit as well. With Olaf already out in front of it, though, playing off of Rain. It shouldn't be a problem for him, or he gets traded out immediately. That's beneficial, because now it opens up the Pit side. Kerrigan will shut it all down, though, because of the mid-wall, there's nowhere to go. He still had just enough vision to spot the bomb, take it down as well. That leaves Flamey in a one versus three. Guns not available to him, but with the range of the CZ, that's good enough to get Kerrigan finally. Well, guns on the right side, if he can get that far. Repeat out from Nico, and surprisingly, good damage dealt from Flamey once more. Yeah, he's down to 15 HP, unfortunately for him. A valiant attempt from Navi, I have to say. Remember, this is their map pick. Currently looking down the barrel of 6-0. Flamey definitely got somewhat of a chance here, but Guardian will remove him from the round. 6-0 does come in, and here's Carrigan, not known for his high fragging potential, but he certainly bails him out in round number six. And we'll see another buy coming from Navi. Will they bring out the AWP for the first time? 
$6,000 on Simple, you would assume so. He definitely does purchase it. This is a problem. That force fight in the third round really did not make any sense of me. I couldn't work it out why they did that. They just limited themselves without the AWP. Now the game really begins. A full buy for Na'Vi. The AWP is out. The utility's there. Can Simple shut down the all potential of Guardian? Quite the battle, I have to say, on the server. Inferno, a very interesting map for these sort of duels and Guardian trying to change his position up we've seen play Arch apartments towards Banana he's trying to be versatile trying to be unpredictable so Zeus can't really work out where he is at the very start of each round he's going to have to wait with Nico on a sandbag position to bait in as well could be something in it at bay that allows Kerrigan to rotate over so a slightly different detail top toward B Zeus looks close Flash over, and it's going to be Smoke instead. So it was a flash, excuse me, but it went too far. Guardian had the angle on it. Bit of a peculiar flash, oh. given where it landed. It was further inside towards CT. Good shot from Electronic, at least. I was about to say, this is looking textbook from Guardian. The plays he's making, the flashbangs he's using are stellar, but overall, Electronic fighting back. Finally, they're looking competitive here. Four and four. Less than a minute remaining, though. Nico holds strong. Like we said, AK-47 in hand. He'll probably upgrade to that AWP. Head towards the back right of the bomb site. Does call for a rotation. As Electronic clears out the top of B. They've got the bomb on that side of the map. It will be Flamey. He usually lurks on the other side of the map, holding the boiler in. Smoke towards CT spawn. They don't have to commit to B. The bomb's still down at T steps. It looks like this could be all a ruse. So Edward's going to smoke towards CT. And then an explosion into the site. Nico's there with Kerrigan's there. Back to the rifles after since Guard Guardian's gone down. Coffins as well. Pretty standard default at this point. Angle for Nico. Couldn't hit the headshot, but once again, Kerrigan's there to clean up on the alternate side. They do and make amends perhaps for Nico because he can't find the second kill either. Response from Simple, an awkward one, as he almost got taken down originally. 12 HP, at least put the bomb in position, and the AWP will still be relevant. Back sight though, Emo very easy to get an aid toward. Thankfully, there's not one left on the face side. Flash out goes too deep. Oh, no. Doesn't matter though. Simple's gonna miss the shot. It's all on to Flamey. One versus two, and they desperately need a round. But I'm oh! oh! Well done! As he goes for it, I was gonna say importantly, not only they needed the round, they need to get the off back. Flamey's got that. Only one survives, but finally on the board. Characteristic miss there from Simple. Like we said, Flamey has been fantastic the last couple of days. Great work. As uh, Simple did manage to take him down and get the bomb down to four seconds on the clock. Flamey to close things out. That's what we need. Six to one. Remember though, all four players went down, just leaving Flamey alive. Lose this round. That's certainly going to be double eco if no bomb is planted. They'll rebuy what they can. Was the all picked up? I assume it is. Simple. Yeah, he grabbed it immediately in the moment. So that's got over. So... We're going to round number eight here, single orb setup. Still pretty decent money for phase. They are looking a little bit more modest now after that round, about 3k residual cash. And what's the play? Will they change the pace up here? Will they try and get aggressive and try and dominate Banana? They haven't really done that so far. They've been quite timid at the top. It's been working great. That was an unfortunate round. Remember, that was two versus one that just gave away. Just a great show-stopping play from Flamey. Simple. Hoping that someone's going to get aggressive and caught off toward Boiler. Very different approach than playing the standard T stairs. At least gives Edward confidence to get some towards Boiler. As well as a clearance of Flamey inside of the apartment. So good A pressure thus far. Smokes halfway down Ben and it won't allow Electronic to get up close to what again is Guardian on the op. Last time they failed to effectively flash this angle. Again to the arch side, so same setup for Edward that he threw when he was trying to fake out on the pistol. Well, 45 seconds remaining. Not really much accomplished by Navi so far, but finally some mid-control comes in. You can see that classic crossfire hold on the A-bomb site right now. One in the pip, on the bomb site, and then the arch covered as well. Oh, Guardian at B once again takes down Simple! 
A little wall bang thrown in there. Makes it a five on four. Time running down now. Nico knows it's going to be a B-side play. He's waiting for them to push with the smoke and they're blind as well, but so is he. This could still fall apart the face here. He will recover somewhat. It's so chaotic. Who's going to come out on top? Nico, but now the flamey once again fighting back. Trying to. Everybody inside of the site. One versus four. Kerrigan walks in. Down he goes. What can you possibly say? <laughs> They're just getting absolutely wrecked every single duel. 7 1 for FaZe. Horse reset. Dealt straight this to Navi. Isn't the most beautiful CS? Like Nico had them all lined up, then the flashbangs come in, everyone's spinning around, looking into walls. Great shot by Guardian to get that early information. With 30 seconds remaining, Navi had no choice. This is where it got really chaotic. Where did the second flashbang come from? It was Nico who got flashed at that point. He might have been a teammate from CD Spawn. But there it is. That's pretty much a full eco. Simple decides to go all in. He's got the AK 47. This is what we call that tactical purchase. To be fair, they've pretty much gone all in. Zeus all in. He probably dropped the AK for simple. So he's there. They would have got $1,400. He's got 400 left over. So he bought armor and then Zeus dropped in the AK. The rest of them keep their money up. So this is a tactical purchase. But quite an expensive one. Nades to the face is simple. Do a ton of damage there. Should he needs to find his opening pick. He's got aggression. AK to work with your right side of damage. But no information that he is still there. No information of the weapon he's equipped with. And he is extremely lethal. The off underneath won't be able to trade back on that either if he finds Rain, but Rain with an AK of his own, slightly off in terms of where his position in Graveyard he does actually have the headshot advantage. Olaf has now changed, but Simple knows that he's close. Flamey Gun down gets a little bit of information on Simple's behalf. Rain's still waiting for it. Shoulder feet from Simple, that's exactly what he wanted to do. No trade potential because Olaf changed his angle back, but at least he gets Edward in doing so. And they'll fall off at, at least for now 48 seconds. Yeah, the problem is the game's up now. They know Simple has the AK-47. They'll be more tentative. They'll hold up on the bomb side. They won't allow him to have opening picks. This is when the crossfires come into play. 4 and 3 advantage. It's a good time to drop the smokes now. Buy yourself 15 seconds where they can't come out that choke point. It's electronic joined by Simple. They need to find something here, but surely they don't take that Guardian. He won't be facing this again. He holds a tighter angle. Flashbangs come in. He just wants to run that timer down. Thought about it. AK got in position, but now they've also slipped Kerrigan in behind them. Crossfire set. All off and Guardian once more. Kerrigan's not going to come into the fray at all. Electronic at least picks up the gun to work with. But unfortunately, nine seconds. Such limited HP. No chance for a plant either. Now it's only on to the second round boss bonus. <laughs> Indeed, and they're two players all in there. It was Zeus and Simple that had to drop the AK, purchase the armor, no money, another full eco. This is disastrous. The only round they've got so far is a two-on-one victory. And Flamey had a lovely spray down towards CD Spawn. But here's Guardian hitting the shots. So good on Inferno. He's one of my favorite orbs to watch on this map. And are they forcing? Okay, so they've got Electronic with a MAC-10 and a Smoke and Armor. He's got another 1200. Simple with a Deagle. He won't have the orb anytime soon. So... They'll try and do what they can with the upgraded pistols here. Rain towards second middle. Easy pickup. Nice trade though by Electronic with a Mac 10. Farm 600 bucks there. That's all for Olaf to give himself a bit of protection. He well, knows he that he's got a company. Now. Exactly. So he's got to do something to keep himself contained. They know he's there because the smoke comes down as well. Still takes out Electronic. Second player to peak. Simple's the man, but it's used to push through the smoke. Naturally, he would do as soon as he's distracted. Baker's back turn and the crow swoops in. It's Flamey to try and find back out to find where Guardian is. Good shot on the Deagle. Feeling confident goes aggressive. At least tells Simple where he is and finally they'll get a ball plant out of this. Down to the one on one as well. It's Nico versus Simple. AWP picked up. Oh, here Hits we go. Glass cannon late. There's a flash and a smoke for Simple to work with. Bolts off for Nico to try and clear out the angle and pit. Yeah, this is a great setup for Simple now. He's got the bomb down quick. looking towards Quad, but Nico slips by him just as he turns away. He has no idea he's got towards the hay bale, so it seems like he does. There's the trajectory of the grenade coming in. This is going to be a raw battle. Simple takes the first punch, misses the blow, and he can't do it. Surely this is going to be a round for Nico. The Deagle comes out. has to be a no score! And of course, Simple nails it! Two rounds in the bag now for Navi has taken some heroics each time. But he delivers the goods. If that's what it takes, so be it. But Navi's still in a desperate position. He's lucky to have gotten that. He oh, did bounce so close to exactly where he was. Plus, still had the ball to work with. What a shot to take out Nico. Talk about skill head to head. Simple's more than willing to take that battle. Wow, wow, wow. Money with that.
has slowly dwindled out of phase as well. It, it's down to just this round for them. So a chance perhaps for Navi to get back into this game. 8-2 already. CT side. So Navi can accumulate rounds and still make a case for this if they went up second half pistol. But Simple's got to try and find the op shot toward mid. Big round here. If Navi can pick this one up, it does break the economy of phase. Utility's still okay. This is their final buy though. Navi with a massive life on there. Simple. Of course it's him to find the round. So far it's Flamey and himself that has stepped up. AWP back in his favor. Guardian this time holding towards the quad position. Like we said, changing things up almost every single round. Flashed off the angle that'll reveal that he's there because he fires the shot toward Edward. Now Navi looks like they've got a little bit more to them. Yes. A lot Swing more team work. Yeah, exactly. And, and just the utility to get some angles early on. 56 seconds, they clear off and find out where the op is for Guardian. It's going to work the most rounds already. Flash the corner, that'll clear cover directly. I thought they might try and peek toward library on the chance that the player peeking out was also caught by it, but they won't go immediately. Oh, massive gap in that smoke. I'm sure he's be aware of it. Goes out, certainly not. Guardian takes him down. That's lacking from there. Yeah, that's, that's a set smoke. He's just completely messed up there. That's going to go deeper and cover the whole library, but simple. He's not missing anything. Takes down all of Meister, now a 4-4. Four four. Forces Rain to change position. Slightly flame. He's got to hit it. Just manages to do so before Guardian takes him down. Had to hit that shot to allow the players getting from apartments and quad side into the site. Better still, he follows up towards Guardian. Goes back for all. Oh! And simple on the op is bringing Navi to life single-handedly. It's just Nico again. And this time he may have to save. He's forced to check to make sure that no one is nearby. And Banana and the M4 will be held. It's going to be 8-3 to three plus a potential save in the cards for FaZe. This is exactly what Navi needed. Yeah, now we've got a game on our hands. That's going to ruin the money of the FaZe clan. Nico holding on to the M4A4 here as he heads towards T-Steps. Of course, simple again, doing what he does best there. Three kills the AWP, up close and personal, very flashy. And he manages to open up that A-bomb side just as it started to look a little bit bleak there. Zeus running around the corner with a massive gap in the smoke. You'd assume those smokes would be nailed. He'd know the lineups, but gives Guardian the opportunity. But simple on the recovery play. This was it. This is where it all started to go wrong. Headshot, of course. Simple, just so solid. Knew immediately that the rotations were coming around as well. Checks correctly to find Kerrigan. So as mentioned, they've only got the one gun carried over onto Nico. No money spent on the others except Kerrigan. Wants one flash. Maybe trying to get Nico into position toward top banana. They've been playing it together. Decent success. Looks to be the case because Kerrigan sets up toward Coffins with Rain nearby as well. Nico already top banana. So time the flash for the peak. Don't want to go too early. They'd be better off waiting to confirm for sure that there's going to be at least a presence up close for him to find. That's now confirmed by the amount of utility. That's the flash they wanted, but they can't get anything with it. So the one piece of utility to try and get the M4 relevant already gone. And it goes deep as well, and look at the damage done to Rain. Simple still looking as well for anyone that's uncharacteristically still being aggressive on the face side. Finally work back over as well toward B. He's got a slightly off angle as well. Yeah, Flamey could be caught by this. They've missed the smoke on this side before as well. He's not fancying his luck to sit around too long. In fact, he's, going to be he's certainly going to be greeted on the other side. Flamey wins out the exchange. And that's going to open up Arch, at least for now. They've got three inside of the site. Watch wrap potential. Rain's not yet on the rotation, so they've got some room to work with in front of Library Zeus. Inside of the site. Peculiar. Angle to take a jump on, but gets away with it. Takes down Kerrigan. Pistols can't do anything, and Rain nowhere nearby, as mentioned. Means that it's 8-4. They walk straight into the lion's den there, but luckily only silence USP is waiting for them. 20 seconds on the clock. Couple of kills traded. That could have fallen apart. Clean and clinical, though. Flaming with two. Zeus picking up one. Electronic with the fourth. And it'll be ringing now with the silence USB. Just hoping he can find an exit frack here. Very unlikely he does anything with it. He wants to try and get that M4. He knows when the bomb goes off, he'll fly towards him. Simple throws his orb around the corner there. 
bit of a weird one, but uh, there we go. Rain managed to get through. And the Bucks by finding that kill, that's about it. Bit of a smile on his face. I don't go on, he meant to do that. Going back to the dust two strategy. Yeah, we'll throw the all around the corner, get the pistol out over the window. Yeah, go look it up. That is quite a cool clip. Round number 13. This has been a very fast half, I have to say, Matt. But uh, I'm glad Na'Vi's starting to show up now. A weak buy for FaZe, I have to say. Four and four is a Guardian glass cannon, and he has no armor, very vulnerable to grenades. All the choke points and orb orbs usually hold are kind of flushed out with the HEs. You think towards Banana Corner and Apartments. Like, those are positions that are volatile. So let's see if he can step up here. Simple predicts they might be going aggressive towards the CT side of apartments not going to be the case though we've actually got three players towards quad phase changing things up completely to be guardian rain and all of meister rain plays that corner so often we just switched to rain right now you can see he tucks himself in here guardian will bait him in he's so sick uh, holding this particular spot Femi already again getting aggressive toward boiler with simple and the op this time joining them Quad side stack toward A as well. It's all fine and dandy to play off of each other. Certainly a lot of potential in the wrap. Kerrigan should have already been on the horse on based on the information. He'll start now, but Edward takes down Rain. No flash yet around the corner to deal with Guardian, and they'll back off the pressure as well. And this is actually a reasonable choice to do so because Kerrigan's already rotated. Electronic's going to start to evaluate B. That gives them the options to fall back earlier when earlier Navi are starting to create space for themselves. Smoke deployed towards Banana. Could go for the split him. Going through the CTRs. This kill is important. Zeus can't find it. Bomb's still down in middle now. 30 seconds remaining. They need to work out where they're going with this one. Looks like the bombs are wrapped now. Zeus knows Carrigan's locked in towards the library. I thought maybe the possibility was to go back toward B after spotting Carrigan because that confirms rotation. This Guardian though does have his right back turns. Look down the cover off library, but it doesn't do much else. Guardian missing an shot uncharacteristic shot. Simply easy one gets taken down immediately, and now look at Navi. That's affirmative. Just Nico remains bomb planted. They're stringing them together, and it's everyone showing up now, not just simple. Yeah, it's looking much better here. The map control coming in at the very start. A slow round, of course, but they push them back, and you're absolutely right. Once they know Carrigan's so deep in towards the arch. That late smoke, it was a weird one they threw, and they bounced many times, but landed in front of the library. That's their commitment then towards the A-bomb site. They're hitting the shots now, and the players are coming to life. We'll have a look at the scoreboard while we're here. On the Na'Vi side, it's simple, of course. Ten frags for him. Flamey, 13, so it's good to see those names at the very top. Edward and Zeus, you don't expect them to be at the top of the scoreboard. Three for Edward, Zeus of four. Electronic mid-table, six and ten. It's Carrigan, actually, at the very top for phase, 13 and eight. That is not good news, actually. That's actually... A little bit worrying for FaZe as this game develops. Bit of a trend in that. Kerrigan, this is the first game he's been actually at the top of the leaderboard for FaZe. He's been more the, obviously I'm not going to say problem, but he's definitely been nearer the lesser of the frag totals, especially during the England meeting. Against the pistol, against the Deagle, pretty straightforward kill for Edwards. Simple takes down Guardian. This is really damage nice. to both of them, by the way. Yeah, really nice, like slow, methodical stuff. And Navi working as a unit, getting middle, dissecting the map piece by piece. And they have taken a lot of damage. Simple down to 16, Edward at 6. This still could all go horribly wrong. Carrigan has to hit this through the wall, he'll get it. But it leaves him alone in a very difficult situation. The AWP won't help him much here. He'll get Molotov out of position and just try and stay alive the best he can at this point. Whoa, nice shot! Surprise, surprise, Edward gone, he was low on HP as it was, but it was the AWP either way. Yeah, unfortunately, Kerrigan is now spotted. If he had a chance to get the re-peak done before Zeus pounced, it might have been interesting, down to a one-on-one, -on -one, but 8-6. He would pull this back from an 8-1 score, at which time they were reset, so they've done this the hard way. They absolutely have. 8-1 and then they completely turn it around. This is looking very positive now. There's a CD-sided map, and the money is pretty good for FaZe in the final round. Maximum loss bonus, I have to say. Double orb setup. This is what I normally say is when FaZe start to look a little bit shaky, but at this point, maybe this is the, the recipe to get them back on track and find that 9-6. It'll be Nico towards the B side of the map, and we'll see whether he wants to get aggressive here at the very start. He does indeed. Some walkers almost push through the fire there and try and get the first pick. He'll just hold back for now. He knows it can't go much further than the logs with that Molotov down in front of him. This is an XQ all day long. Nico backed off by Flames, tries to get a little more vision. They've not actually gone aggressive down Banana too often, or even peaked beyond the half wall, to be fair. Now that he has the double op up. 
They like her the position. They'll rotate over, so A execute might be the call, but they'll have a strength in defense to greet them. Guardian still looking for information. We'll start to spot the nades being thrown his direction. Again, it gets right, toward the mid wall. That means they could easily try and take advantage of him. He can't manage the shot, but Ray certainly can in the sight. Wrapping around, though. Far too many men in front of him to deal with. Finally, a late smoke in front of library means Guardian has no vision. They'll have to concede the plant at this point in time at the very least, and he has to wait for Nico double up on a retake, and neither have kits. Or nades. Smoke has a gap, but no one in pit to find, and Guardian... I hope that someone oversteps the mark, tries to bait out with a shot toward the back of the site that would leave, easily leave Nico in position to capitalize. Need. Oh, is going to do massive damage to Guardian. He's taped up through the box as well. Down to the right. Just 10 HP. And Edward already finding his team. It means it's electronic. Confirms it. Six straight rounds. We go 8-7. What a turnaround from Na'Vi. I don't think either team looked particularly good this map. I feel like Faze got off that great start by Na'Vi playing themselves. That weird force by in the third round set himself up like in a horrible way. It's as soon as Simple arrives. Flaming starts winning some clutches. They build their economy. Na'Vi actually played a much better squad there. Faze couldn't get it together. Holding aggressively, they couldn't find their shots, their synergy was off when they were trying to bait in rain. The execution from Navi were actually pretty clean. A lot of missed smokes from either sides, but uh, Simple and Co made it work. They, even with the gaps in the smoke, they were able to recover the situation. And the Carrigan top five in the half, like I said, that is not good news. Sure, you might think one of your weaker players having a great performance is good, but no, you do not want that. You want, you want your Nikos, you want your Reigns at the very top. Guardians should be carrying on this map. He had a fantastic start when they were cruising. But he seemed to drop off as Simple came to life. Half number two now. Na'Vi looking to tie things up. At 8 1, I didn't think it was possible. I thought this was going to be a lackluster semi final, but it's certainly heating up now. It's a walk toward the top of mid. Slow it down, not to reveal too much on the face side. And they'll Cross-check each corner. This should be a big play for Edwards. Zeus takes the egg row. And they all look. They all turn, which means they all line up. And Edward only manages the one It looked like he would get two headshots out of it initially. Electronic in the pit. That's a bit of a problem, especially trying to anchor off the A-site. Bomb down just simple. Immediately greeted. Confronted by Guardian at the arch. And he's certainly going to get nowhere near the bomb or anywhere near the round. FaZe take their ninth, and they'll take the momentum with it. Good job by FaZe. Clinical stuff that not really much given away whatsoever. You see Ray making his way out of the apartments. They'd already found the opening flag. He picks up the USP and he looks like a savage. That's the headshot electronic. That was the last line of defense. And you'd assume a force buy comes in from Na'Vi. As we get the CZs out, the armor as well. Just to know, simple. This is a little bit frustrating at times. Obviously, he's an amazing rifle. He can handle himself with the M4, but surely he won him on the AWP, especially on the CT side. They're putting a lot into this one. If they do not win this round, he will not have an AWP. Gone down to zero dollars. Mac 10 for Rain. Guardian on the UMP. Carrigan MP7. An eclectic array of SMGs. There's going to be Olaf Meister and Nico on the AK-47. So they go for the banana control here. Good Molotovs to flush out any CTs at the top. Pushing through the smoke. Let's see if they can finish up with a few remaining bits of utility they have. Quick pre-fires on the SMGs. Naturally, they're the ones to step up first. Light smoke from the CTs, most of which they'll be able to deploy, and they want to boost above it on the T side to see if anyone was going to peek. Yeah, it's a very common strategy for CTs to flash over the CZs and try and isolate them behind that smoke. But uh, nice work by FaZe to get on this position. This is actually very strong. He knows everyone comes on the corner. They're not going to be pre-aiming that. 45 seconds, still plenty of time. It's going to be rain just to show some presence here. That's not a big deal. He goes down. He only had the MAC-10. It's quite standard for MAC-10 to go exploring, get some information. They find one kill, great. If they don't, he's still looking good for the round. Smoking towards Banana now. There's only two players there. There is a boost, though. Edward has to go absolutely huge here. Gets flash, drops down. Simple, can't find the shots. Can Edward? He'll get one. I think that's all he gets. Significant damage inflicted. Yeah, he's still yeah. alive. But that should be the round concluded now. Not much you can really do with the CZ in that position. As soon as they know where you are, not many numbers running around, gone instantly. Electronic, flamey. Enough decent pistols to do damage, especially flamey at range on the Deagle. There's low enough damage that could actually be possible if they get close. That's not going to happen if not Nico holds in that fashion. But this is exactly what Electronic is capable of doing with the CZ. He swings to Remo as well. Second shot. Oh, just barely gets around the corner, but self-preservation not enough. Kerrigan gets to the angle in time. 
A little bit too close for comfort there, I have to say, but FaZe make it work. As long as the round's on the board against that four spy, yeah, absolutely fine on the T side. Na'Vi surely don't force again here. They did this in the T side, and it was almost the unraveling of them. Carrigan wins out on the one versus one. Doesn't look like Na'Vi will be force buying here from what I can see at this point. Carrigan continues the strong performance so far. Not the most beautiful of finishes, but they all count. Yes, indeed. Full eco for Na'Vi. Should be 11-7 here. Remember, this is Na'Vi's pick, so... Three times ahead. Slams down. Barrels. Closer for Guardian to go. Does take towards CT immediately. Simple stand, but will back off. Matter of procedure at this point in time, really, for FaZe. Okay, SMG is still carried over as well. Chance to try and build their bank. Navi. At least they've not brought anything at all into this round, so they're not going to make the same mistake they made at the start of the first half. Exactly. But it will be rain now. Same mentality. Mac 10 trying to farm some cash, and he certainly finds a lot of it. 1,200 in the bank. That pays off the debt for the Mac 10, and it's simple and Edward remaining. Edward might be able to get one kill. You can see Olaf might have very low HP, but he doesn't face first. If you spot him retreating towards the arch, simple. Waits in towards the ruins. Probably takes down Guardian here. There it is. But again, just an SMG to recover. Not too tantalizing. And Ray finishes it off. There it is. 11-7. Yeah. Worth pushing for Simple to get more kills. Obviously not tantalizing with the SMG, but every kill he gets would help. Pad of the bank. Now we go to guns, and it's not quite... Well, Nico's already elected not to, for sure. But the AK carried up, but not quite tantalizing enough, I think, on the T side for them to go all the way onto rifles. The bonus potential certainly exists, although they dropped the op out from Nico. He had exactly enough for it. So in doing so, even though Guardian went down, the other two won't upgrade. He gets the AWP immediately. There wasn't enough for one of the CT side. In fact, Edward's still on an MP9. Indeed he is. This awaits the downside of force buying. Can be quite exciting to win the rounds, but it can fall apart. Nice fast round here. Oh. Playing these ready and waiting. Moves down two and almost a third. Dinks all off my stuff. They're trying to completely dictate the pace of the round and didn't work out for them whatsoever. A weak buy of Na'Vi looking quite promising now. Zeus fire shots to war departments. Wishful thinking perhaps to get Flamey into a, a position and watching the doorway. Smoke down was always going to discourage Kerrigan backward. Off tag to nine as well though for FaZe is certainly a limiting factor. He's elected to pick up the AWP. Shoulder shown. Good find Guardian. Who's on the AK instead. So far forward as well with it. He starts to look toward Pit. He's got problems though because he knows the timing that Simple, or someone at least, was going to be sneaking back over from the library. Good find to take him down. That's going to limit him with just Kerrigan. Well, I'm still up in Olaf's hands. But Kerrigan's got a lot of work to do. He'll start it well. Knew that Simple was in position and he'd given up a lot of room over toward the arch. That shot, even if he could have done damage, would have been significant. He's got company though, top and middle is where Edward resides. He'll spot him first, surely Carrigan doesn't take him down. Luckily for Edward, he does not, 4 HP remains and Olaf Meister left in a very tricky position. He has 9 HP, the bomb on his back and now taken down. I have to say, this is the problem I saw with FaZe earlier in the tournament. It's Carrigan trying to make very fast calls instead of exploiting the fact that they've got lesser weaponry, they probably don't have the AWP. He's rushing middle, and look how sloppy it is. Everyone's got their nades out. It's all chaotic. There's flaming, like, he gets two frags short, but they're not too difficult. Like, that's pretty easy for most pros. And then Carrigan just needs to slow things down, ascertain what they've got, bleed them out with the grenades, and he's going to need to calm down with the calls and work out what he's up against first. Still plenty of money. That was technically a bonus round of the SMGs there, but would have preferred that to be a lot slower. CZ for Carrigan, AWP for Guardian, and watch out for him. We said it in the pregame map. T side, AWP for Guardian. I, I think he's the absolute best in terms of his aggression, what he can do on the T side of this map. It's, it's beautiful to watch sometimes. Spray in and Flamey will switch back out with Edward. And find some damage at the very least, but the only one to receive anything. Okay. Really flirting with the idea, but it's costing them in the end. Edward's already down to 52, so... One final flash, perhaps, and then... Concede position. In fact, that flash was one too many as Nico had the angle. It never went far enough for the backside of banana, and smokes were gone. Well, early pick for Nico. CT's now scrambling to recover. They are going to try and take back Banana, which they do successfully. Good Molotov there. Ooh. Zeus will find an M4 upgrading from his MP7. He is not in the form to be taking this sort of challenge. Yeah, he's flirting with death with Guardian so close. Yeah. And EWP as well gets tagged through the wall. He has to back. 
Like, your players like your Simple, your Nikos, they can take that. Zeus right now, I think that was a scary move to make on low HP as well. Get some information there. There's 40 seconds. They could definitely fall back. I think they're boosting one up in CT spawn. I can see on the mini-map right now. Indeed, they are. Edward goes up with the AK-47. Very common spot, but you'd be surprised how many kills come from that spot. Patience. Arthur presence as well for Kerrigan. And he's timed it perfectly. They still have to deal with the fact that Electronic has position drops in, but he's got more problems below. He almost was better off to hold the high angle and not give the players wrapping in a shot toward him. Fortunately, one step too far falls off. Bomb planted and already Navi have to save. So just the one round so far on their CT campaign. 12 for phase means four to go. Indeed. And we'll be Edward to hold on to the AK-47. If they do manage to hold on to both rifles here, there'll be somewhat of a buy available to them. They'll probably force around it. Time will tell. They might have to get deagles in their armor. As you can see, about $1,000 per player. Not ideal. They get 1400 on top of this with the two. The AK and the M4 is such a call. I take a timeout and discuss it with the team. With a player like Simple, give him that AK-47. Get CZ around him. That could be enough. Probably not the full investment. Some CZs definitely worthwhile here they will indeed hold on to Zeus and Edwards aforementioned weaponry there nice slow around there from phase waiting for the mistakes to be made Navi aggressive towards Banana Nico knowing they're going to overextend at one point takes the first shot down Zeus like we saw trying to take a kill back in response but didn't work out for him and indeed timeout comes in from Navi good call work out all the players here you got two rifles important decision a pivotal part of the game right now what play will they make they've been very audacious with their purchases so far. Their third tactical timeout. They're swapping weapon. There you go. Give Simple one of the rifles. I'd say give him the AK of anything. Edward might want to consider that. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Simple have the M404. I'm fine with that. Some CZ's coming out. And they will indeed go all in. I'm not sure Flaming Oil yet to purchase. Yeah, they're going all in. This is a big moment. This is do or die time for Na'Vi. M4, AK-47, upgraded pistols. A couple of the fuse kits, little in terms of utility. Simple, you would assume, will go and try and sneak into the back lines here and see whether he can cause absolute oh, chaos. Guardian. Guardian's up to no good. Aggressive on the AWP already toward top middle. Oh, he's done he's got presence on the other Sorry. side. You say he is, but oh, man, oh man. Looks toward it. Zeus tries to back away. Pistol still in hand. This Guardian knows they retreat back to the site at the very least, and he'll continue on with aggression, but he'll be on toward to continue on much beyond this without support behind him, so they'll group with rifles at least and cover up. A cubby. All impending threats gone for now. Interesting rotation back toward the convergence in front of Arches. Guardian wants to get around the corner, missing a shot, he goes down, he'll be lost. Nico has to be careful, but I said exactly how many are there, not aware that they're so close, he's lucky that he's got rain over his shoulder because he gets the shot back, and Zeus is next in line. So the gun's successful, it's just electronic, and Edward and Kerrigan's going to dispose of the former, but Edward's still running to try and save his AK-47. What is the golden rule, Matthew? Use the buddy system, have Never a trade. anyone how you wouldn't want to be treated That yourself. as well, but the golden rule of Counter-Strike is always have the trades available. If you come in towards the bronze side, make sure you have your teammates there. If you miss a shot, you pull out a grenade, Rain is there, ready and waiting, AK in hand, saving his teammates. So that was key. That was textbook CS. Watch and learn. That was very good indeed. Rain doing everything he can. That round could have fallen apart, let me tell you. He knew he had to make sure he was ready to strike at any moment. Edward with the AK-47. As we said, that was a pivotal round. FaZe Clan, sure, they take a lot of damage with four players still alive. If they can find Edward here, that'd be great. Edward finds his ninth kill of the game. Not going to do anything further. Two players low HP. Kerrigan's nowhere nearby, so at least the AK carry minutes more. But you're right, FaZe Clan up to 13 rounds. And the CT's desperate for it. You see what I mean? He's just there, ready to trade. His Doing it for his teammates, protecting everyone. He's the real guardian now. Impressive quiff today as well. Interestingly enough, there's going to be less wealth distribution than I thought. I thought possibly they'd try and get a second rifle up again, but they'll take this one cold. Yeah, they just a have few to, pistols. Yeah. They're going to have to let it go to 14 to 8. I hope Edward could. I don't know why he's got the rifle. Give it to Simple. I know that sounds a little bit rude, but you've got one of the most skilled players in the entire planet in his server, who's an amazing AK user, and Edwards 
definitely a support player of the team. Give it to him. I guess he's got the armour. It's the only way you can really justify it. Well, we'll see what he does with it. Aggressive to start off rather than passive as we've come to expect from Edward often in many angles. So, Edward forced off. Can't get anything done from top of the boiler position. So Pooch step up of a smoke at least gives CZ a chance for a headshot. Smoke's down toward Coffin. They'll know this is now going to be a B hit. Hold on, That's an interesting flash. Good read from Zeus. Turns it in time. Electronic will swing around as well toward Coffin. Crossfire at this range is not good enough, and they're already backing off of it because on top of mid, they've got Rain walking in. He'll confirm that it's going to be clear. Not only that, he's going to line him up with the arch wall so that anyone swinging back to the side immediately has to bypass an AK-47 that is certainly ready with crosshair placement. First to arrive. Takes a bit of damage. They'll go in numbers, fair enough. So they don't get a single kill with it. Now that actually strengthens the retake potential from Navi because two AKs to work with, but Guardian Aggressive found as well. This is actually more awkward than you'd expect in this situation. The bigger problem is that they don't have any kits and they also don't have armor. The better call if they can't get a kill within the next, I would say, five seconds is actually just trying to try and fortify the buy in the next round and back off with the weapons they've saved. They're looking increasingly like they want to go. Kerrigan. Forced out. Go good shot to Edward, and that's going to bring Kerrigan back in. Traded immediately by Electronic. Still a chance in it. And that's going to work out well because Simple gets the first shot that's swinging in. It's going to be the kill from Electronic. He's got the time as well. That's a blunder from FaZe. I'm not really sure what happened there. That was five players toward the B bomb site with USPs and one AK, and Navi come out on top. He'll get it with little time to spare there, but I have no idea how it all falls apart. Electronic is the hero of the round. Another one the Na'Vi steal away. That should not be going down in that manner, but he hits all the shots required. Simple with the AWP coming in. He gets a great shot with the CZ. Olaf Meister can't hold on. That'll be a that round they'll live to regret, I think. No armor as well, which was actually a bit of a surprise. He didn't take more aim punch factor through the edge of the box, but... Rain missing the shots as well and just getting run down with an AK that wasn't tradable. That's changing the whole round. That's that's crazy. They had five players at B, the full fake rogue, bombed down, and somehow it falls apart there. FaZe are not looking their very best today. Oh my the tenacity from Navi to just run in and take the exchange early. Full commitment to it. Simple flashed off, won't be able to hit much with the AWP. Off as well means he's got to change all the way back towards CT. They haven't used him as the anchor, so the rotation hasn't exactly occurred yet. In fact, Edward can play Orange as one, hoping that if they get deep enough, they'll overlook his stance. The problem with that is if a smoke comes down for simple, there is rotation time, so how quickly they go behind it before he gets to coffins is extremely limiting for the way Edward's choosing to deal with this. So here's the smoke. To at least contain Banana for now. Same boost they went for last time with Guardian, but with all the of their own. Not going to be anyone getting aggressive. Flash will change that. Edward can't hit the shot. He's got company. It's going to be a whole off to immediately get him. That Simple up close. He has to move the wall. Just barely gets away. Good movement. Like a commitment, perhaps, from FaZe, and he wants more, but Guardian surprisingly actually spots him very quickly. It almost looked like Simple didn't have the vision that we might have had. It's loose. Nothing he's going to be able to do. Has to wait for rotations. They're going to be slow as well to try and push down middle because they haven't had the bomb plant in yet, so they aren't convinced. The bomb is planted, man. It's going to be Guardian to hold them off towards this area of the map. Can't hit the shot, though. It's flaming with the AWP. Surprise, surprise. As they're now in a three-on-two situation. Kerrigan's going to hold the wall. Zeus has made noise. Flash won't deter either. Kerrigan needs this kill. Shadow shows he's got the advantage. The headshot there. Just... One to remain is all of a sudden no. has the electronic dead in his sights. Flamey tries to walk back around. He knows where he is. Problem's not him. It's Kerrigan that's going to swing in behind him. Flamey and the AWP's lost track of where he's gone. He plays this perfectly. There's nothing Flamey can do. No kit. Already done. In fact, needs to get away with the AWP. Can't even do that. Good recovery from FaZe as Kerrigan stays alive on top of it as well. Textbook from Kerrigan there. Doesn't want to go for the flashy finish. Spots the bomb. See he's not defusing. Doesn't risk it. He knows against TWP. If he misses one bullet, that could be it. Spots it, hides. Guarantees him to not defuse the bomb. And then catches him as he retreats out of the side. That's actually really well played from Kerrigan. There it is. The final frag coming in. And that's actually presumably a reset at this point. As we're very close to map point, and remember this is the best of three, our first semi-final of the day. CZ's one in four UMP. This really is do or die now. 
Navi lose this, it's game over, I'm afraid I've no money at all, simple as it going down about a fight! He'll get one and that's it, that's the rifle gun, he does significant damage towards Nico. There's still a 4-on-4 four four as Edward tries to get that M4 back desperately. He does actually manage to find him. 39 HP for Nico after the exchange, but Edward, you're right, just manages to get away. So back to essentially where we were two rounds ago, but deeper into it certainly benefits FaZe to get onto at least overtime point. Still execution potential exists, they've not used any utility. Or at least in terms of smokes on the FaZe side. And there's not much to defend with. Conversely, for Na'Vi. first try and spot out everything toward the arch side I want to flash him in he's hoping that Navi try and get, or rather at least get desperate rather than trying but get desperate and push out for information meanwhile it works the last line of defense at feet he's got the rifle that's decent work look at the damage done one HP left on Nico Guardians got low enough the pistols suddenly become relevant but not if they can't get to the B site because they're cut off by Olaf He's going to keep things busy on A without the bomb plant. In fact, they have already committed to going back his direction, hoping that him spotting the rotations means no one else left in the site. Electronic can play this very slow, though. If they overlook the fact that he's here, finds high HP, he's got a chance that, that gets it. traded out. Great shot, Nico. That was the chance. Zeus now, two versus one. Nico, one HP, but they play this correctly. He's making a ton of noise. He's got no nades. He's got no kit. In he comes. A lot of sound made. They know exactly where he is. If Zeus wins this, I'll be immensely impressed. They know exactly where to shoot. Olaf Meister takes him down. Clinical stuff there. 15 to 9 money, as we said, in the actual bin now. Na'Vi, it's been an absolute miracle if they can recover this and go to overtime. Considering the turnaround of the first half, I expected a lot more from their CT side. Or well, considering some of the mistakes phase we make, and they've given up a full eco as well, you'd think this would be a much closer game. But Navi, fantastic in the first half. 8 1 down, like you said, a tenacity to come back and manage to make it a competitive game, but only one round so far, which was a tie clutch as well. CZs, Deagles, the last hope of Navi. They're going to have to push through these smokes and try and steal away a Deagle shot. Flamey gives up the fact they have no weaponry. Mac 10 comes out. Good weapon in this position. Two players are helmets. That's Flamey and Zeus. As you can see, some more avant-garde strategies here. Pushing up the crossfires of the CZ. Trying to find the opening pick. It's an interesting approach to trying to play the hallway in apartment. Interesting crossfire. Works out for a trade at least. Yeah, but all he gets is the MAC-10. That's why Rain is happy to be there by himself. That's quite smart from him. He gets a kill. 4-on-4 four four certainly favors the terrorist forces. They know they're up against pistols now. Edward, pretty much alone here. He'll go around the broken wall. Might get one kill. Not even that. This should be game now. Final commitment from FaZe as they head towards the B-bomb site. Smokes down, doubling up, in fact, as they... Just desperate to get it and get it over with at this point in time. Flashes will counter off Kerrigan, but he's going to go back and babysit Banana as it is. The, you know, have the awareness that Simple's gotten so close so quickly, Molotov. Flamey can go through that because he's already inside of the smoke, which means he's not going to do damage to him. Good find on the Deagle to the AK. Go. He's got Olaf down as well. Suddenly there's a chance that it damage has been distributed massively to his teammates, however. And now that chance is suddenly subdued by Flamey, dropping immediately. It's Simple with armor on 19, electronic. 59, no nades to work with, no kits either. And Nico is playing a perfect angle to try and get information without exposing himself too deeply, without committing to the fight. And when he goes, Electronic's perfectly positioned to take the headshot. 16-9. FaZe will take map one. As I mentioned, Matt, I wasn't too impressive either side there. FaZe not looking the absolute best, but they got over the finish mark in map number one. Some mistakes made on either side, and I feel like Nabi did come to life in the first half there, especially Flamey and Simple. They showed us what they are made of, and hopefully there's more of that to come. Unfortunately, that was Navi's pick, Inferno, and it's going to be Mirage next. Uh, Mirage is next, and unfortunately Navi, you're right, has to step up CT side, but also get a...